right hand, and repeat after me, I, Ellen Hoffer, I, Ellen Hoffer, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of Indiana, and the Constitution of the State of Indiana, and that I will faithfully, and I will faithfully, impartially, impartially, and diligently, and diligently, discharge my duties, discharge my duties, as a member of the Oakwood Cemetery Board, as a member of the Oakwood Cemetery Board, for the City of Warsaw, Indiana, for the City of Warsaw, Indiana, according to the law, according to the law, <laughs> And the best of my ability. And the best of my ability. All right. Congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> All right. Good. Mr. Bumgarner, how are you? Well, morning? I was down at the uh, cemetery thing looking. But then I checked my email and it said the council chamber. I go, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank Appreciate you very much. It. Thank you. Oh, I don't get sworn in or what? No. <laughs> okay. You well. just get sworn in. Oh, yeah, that's a lot, too, I might add. <laughs> okay, we will uh, start with the unfinished business of the cemetery. Um, I would like to bring forth the first two items again, because we're going to talk a little bit more about the cemetery improvements and future site of cremation garden. Um, I don't know if anybody has any suggestions or had time to think about it. Uh, but I do want to bring that up because that's going to come up in new business for 2020. So um, if nobody has anything, I will move on. But I wanted to open that up in case somebody might have. Okay, um, Max did talk to me a little bit earlier, which is, can be followed in those two categories, is the ride if you want to walk the, the bike path and the walk path around the cemetery that we've been looking at. Um, being that we're getting caught up with some of the other stuff, um, it's taken me about 11 years to get there. It, it's something that's a bit of passion of mine. And I need to sit down with Jeremy and I would start like to start with your, actually ask you for your approval if I can start looking into that to see how much engineering fees and stuff is. Um, if you don't remember, I'll try to bring it back, but back by my back gate where we have a walkway, um, I would like to take a six foot sidewalk all the way around over to the fireman's building so it would attach to the greenway. Uh, several reasons. Um, summer, we have a lot of ladies that bring their children down to go to the lake. Um, they still have to go out at my entrance and still go around a blind curve. And I would like to do that sidewalk and put a, a steps right on that curve so they can see both ways because the park, and of course you have the campground and the people that use it. And I think it'd just be a nice area that they could walk off that greenway because there's another blind curve one down. It would take the pedestrian part off of the traffic that flows back there because the park uses back behind there behind the fireman's building a lot and i think it would enhance the beauty of that hill where we can actually maintain it a little better we can get equipment down in there which we can't now um, it's one of my passions to do now with saying that i don't know what it'll come in at um, understand what it takes, but I don't know the engineer, there'll be engineering fee. Um, I've already figured out the block. They make an in-dot block that's salt resistant that we can put down to do it. Um, there's some hills and different areas we have to deal with. Not a whole lot of gravestones that I'll have to move. I'll have to bring some up, um, but there's just a lot of work there and I have a feeling money. Um, when Tim Dabronski was here back, when we first had this idea, he told me six foot because there's possible grant money. Uh, Max and I talked about it would have been the K-21. So we'll be looking for outside grant money to help us with this project when it gets to that point to see if it's still feasible to do. But if I could have your blessings to kind of start that, I appreciate that. Mr. President, if you would like to. Yeah, any question that we have? Uh, we're to look into it. I'll second it. Uh, can I ask a question? Yeah. Um, when and I'm just this is just because I'm Snoopy. Um, when you move a gravestone, do you have to move the grave too? No, do not. The grave will the the the, the interment will not be touched. Okay. All this is a matter of elevation. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter that because I know on the side of that hill there there's graves. On correct, and there they have to be by law five below five, five feet. It has to be over two two foot of earth over the top of them. All we're going to do is enhance the dirt. Okay. You know, they will not be moved. Yeah. We won't okay. touch them at all. Yeah. They won't I didn't think you would. No, nope. the, the project would stop if a vault was in the way. Or any, there's all sorts of things, but I know they lay back. So right. I know I'm okay as far as the walk and stuff and the measuring I've done. Uh, but also, since you um, are starting, I mean, <clears throat> I mean, you're just uh, starting to do the uh, 
preliminary on all Correct. this kind of stuff. If we, do we have a target date? I mean, I think it's a great idea. Just No. The reason I did this this many years ago, and when this was one of my things I wanted to do, there was so much at the cemetery ahead of that that I needed to yeah, do first. Yeah, sure. And I'm just starting to get caught up on things where, not that I want to be in projects all my life, but this right. is now a well, more comfortable time to start looking at fund-wise. Um, and taking out a perm. We've been mm -hmm. we've been hitting the perm account pretty hard here lately. Right, right. Not excessive, but we've been hitting it pretty hard. Mm -hmm. And we're getting close. The asphalting is almost done next year. That will probably be at least 98% done yeah, uh, by that yeah. cemetery, what we're going to do. Um, the office is remodeled, stuff like that, so we won't be hitting the perm right. as hard. Um, we still invest quite a bit of that, so I, it, it's not like it's gone. Yeah, yeah. But I always very diligently spend penny. And there's, I noticed uh, a lot, like several weeks ago, there was a thing on the news about, and this probably doesn't have anything to do, I'm sure it doesn't have anything to do with us, but it might be grant money that we can apply for. They're approved like $90 million, is that the word? Is that the amount I heard for bike pathways and stuff in northern Indiana? It's like an astronomical amount. Yeah, um, and, and the only reason I brought up bike paths is because uh, Tim was big on that bike path, sure. leading it. And because I was going to go four foot sidewalk, and he said no house six in a department head meeting. So I asked him why, mm -hmm. and he said because you could, there might be grant money you can tie together oh, yeah. to that greenway. Um, we'll look at all avenues. Sure, and sure. If we have to redraw, we'll redraw. But I, I, I just need the first one to go and find out how much the pre-engineering sure, is sure. going to cost. Yeah. I've got two avenues: one private engineer, or the company that has doing my walls uh -huh. uh, right now. We have another wall. Schedule for this year. You're big into um, walls, huh? huh? You're big into walls. <laughs> yes. That's cool. um, sell the same block, and they have engineers on staff that would be a fee and might be a little less. I don't yes. know yet. That would do full color layouts and all that stuff yeah, for yeah. what we're going to do. Um, so I will look at either one, but I would like to talk to This is more Jeremy's field than mine. Right. He knows who to contact and the steps to do, and I want to make sure he do it in order mm -hmm. what we got to mm -hmm. do. And then we'll try to get that together and see on money. Sure. The, the first one I'll come back is. Once we find out the engineering fee, if we can go ahead and yeah, do that. Sure. Sorry, I didn't mean that. Yeah, no, right. no. Yeah. No, this question should be asked. Yeah. <coughs> Anything else before you final vote? Okay, Anyone now else? you can do you all in favor. If you okay, want. all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. We will start working on that. Among some other things. Um, the other one on there is fall cleanup. Um, you know me, I always give a shout out to my guys. Um, <clears throat> we've all been kind of injured this year, but one guy, um, the leaves had fallen a month late, and honestly, we're probably 85% picked up, which a few months ago, I would say we probably did the year at 40% picked up. So they've been working really hard. Um, we had to take the leaf box, or the leaf sucker away, put take the box off, because we had to get the salt dog on. I can only tie up one of my uh, dump trucks at the time. <coughs> Um, so anyway, and that being nice, so we were we were taking them out with skid loader and, and dump trucks. So they've been working. It's going to help us in spring. I'm getting to you. <laughs> okay, you all right? All right, I'm getting it. All right. Um, some of you saw the pictures. The restoration to the office is complete. I don't have the numbers yet. I will get numbers by next meeting. Okay. Um, I'm going to skip down to wood giveaway. Um, that will be starting January 7th. We have had time now a few days. My guys are hitting really, really hard this week to get enough wood. Um, we've had some phone calls. We've been able to service a couple people, but I haven't had, because of all the late cleanup and stuff, haven't had time to do it. So they've been working really hard the last couple days, and we're going to go into it till tomorrow and maybe Monday. And right now, I think I have enough to open. I will check, double check tomorrow, but we'll. I definitely by Monday we will have enough. So with that, um, I'm going to hold off on five there on the end, on this request. Um, we have a gentleman here, and you look like I've lost the page. Here it is, um, Chad England. Um, he came to me. What Chad was uh, just a few weeks before Christmas. Okay, St. Peter's right Church. Um, this is something that I need to throw out. I, you're the first that I'm talking to. I haven't been to the mayor or anything else. Uh, Chad came and approached me. They have a, right now currently about 15 members, 15 to 20 ish. Um, they have, I don't want to say lost. The person that, that allowed them to use the building moved, correct? Yes. So they do not have a place to hold their church service on Sunday. 
Um, he came and asked if our chapel would be possibly to use for a one service on Sunday. Um, it's at nine o'clock, so they would be in the chapel eight to 10. Um, in our brief talk, it's like we've never done that before. Um, it's equipped to do that. Uh, we've always had it just for funeral directors, for uh, committals. Um, so this is a whole new avenue. He understands there'd probably be a fee. Um, there's so much for me to check into. Um, I just want to throw it out to you, and if you have any questions for Chad, he's here tonight. Um, just to get an idea, if you want to pursue this, he knows he's just asking. If knows the answer, knows the answer. Um, if you do approve, my <coughs> next step will be the mayor to see if that's something he desires us to do. And then we'll we'll further on to attorney and, and work out all the details. So I'm going to kind of leave it open to you guys for discussion. Um, like I said, Chad's right there if you would like to talk to him about it and get your feelings on what you think. Do, uh, do we ever have funerals on Sunday? No. We, can, we cannot vary on Sunday. Nope. Oh, is that a state law or something? It's a city rule. Oh, okay. No holidays or, or Sundays. It's not a state. No, there's a lot of cemeteries that do. We okay. Do I didn't know that. So no, the chapel is not used on Sunday. You know, what was the name of the what's the name of the church the denomination the nomination or not it's, that it makes it's St. Peter's Lutheran Church okay we're part of the uh, chat if you would up yeah. the mic please thank you is it on yes it is okay can you hear me okay well mm. we're hearing the people that they want to broadcast we can hear you yep. okay um, I'm with St. Peter's Lutheran Church I'm the head elder there um, we are a church of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod and uh, Mr. Hagee was nice enough when I asked him um, at the end of January, our uh, current pastor is retiring. The place that we are meeting at um, was only available because he is part of the community where this, the community building is at. So uh, at the end of January, um, we're, we've been looking now for a few weeks, different meeting spots, you know, our meeting places that we could hold uh, worship service. And it, it came up, the the chap, you know, there's the chapel there sure. at Oakwood Cemetery. I, I approached Mr. Hagee. He was nice enough to talk to me. It, it was strictly, uh, you know, uh, it and like Mr. Hagee said, it had never been asked before. We just, you know, as an opportunity, we just thought we would ask um, if it's something that you know the council would like, you know, would consider. That's you know fantastic. Um, if it's something that you know is something that people aren't comfortable with or anything, uh, you know we understand no is a very good answer. And it's like I said, we just approached it as a uh, as an opportunity. Um, you know we're we're still continuing to look for other places, but we we thought we did you know at least ask the question. Um, in our conversation we talked about, I said there would probably be a fee, and he's okay with that. Yeah. Um, also, um, he shared with me this isn't something for permanent. Um, they hope to grow a little bit. They had sold some land and, and kind of redoing some things and, and to make bills or whatever, and then as a congregation grows, they want to look for another place. So this yeah. is more of a temporary. Um, yeah. We can define temporary later, I guess. Um, but it's, it's just a new idea, new avenue to use a facility at city property. Um, like I say, I do not know the legalities. He knows that this is the first step uh, and that we're taking. So I, I guess, once again, I would like your opinion uh, and a vote if we can pursue this or not. And if you have more questions, feel free, please. I'm sorry. I don't see a problem with this. I don't see a problem with it, especially if it's yeah, Jerry, I know you don't have a voting thing, but do you have any comments or thoughts? Uh, do you heat that in the wintertime? Sure do. Okay. Um, it's, it's currently set, I have it set at 55, and then we bump up for funerals, uh, mm -hmm. which is very easy to show them to do for an hour. Uh, okay. I don't fuel consumption, which... Part of the expense will cover that um, and the lighting, but um, I, I'm, I'm personally not concerned either way. Yeah. It's an avenue where one, it can generate a little income for us, two, it can give them a place to have church service if it's so allowed. Like I say, once we get through the legalities and all that. I don't see a problem with it. Really. 
I vote to, I make a motion we uh, give you the opportunity to pursue a hell. I second that. Ellen, you open? I am. All right. Um, mm -hmm. So, I'll move or Give a motion, and it's been seconded. Just need a vote. Second. Uh, all all in favor? I'm oh, sorry, all, all in favor? You're good. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, Chad, we will look into that, buddy. Okay. I will get I'll get a call to the mayor's office and get an off appointment with him when he's free, and we'll start there, and then uh, I will head to the attorneys, and we'll see if we can't get some rules guidelines to set to see if we can get this started for you. Okay? okay? Hey, hey. If I could ask one question, and I know you told me this, and I don't remember, your current fee you were paying, do you remember? Right now, the room that we've been uh, using is the community center at Briar Ridge behind Coles, and they're charging us fifty dollars a week. Fifty dollars a week, okay. Um, I, I don't know what that would be, but I'm just curious what you were. Yeah, and, and were that was part of the reason to move there. It was big enough for what we were doing, um, and like it's and as Mr. Hagee and I uh, talked, I mean we fully expect to pay uh, a, a rental fee. Um, it's not something that is was any expecta expectation of a gratis type, um, uh, you know. Good. We're good, thank you, thank you. we'll get started. Um, before you leave, if you would jot down a telephone number just in case, you know, I told you to remodel it. <coughs> or if you'd like to come up, you can put it on a pad right here for me. I think I have it, but I just double check if you would, so I have one to get a hold of you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank, thank you for everyone just you know, listening and giving us the opportunity to approach you about it. Sure. And, and sure. Very well. right. And I, I will in a few weeks I will try to get back with you as soon as I get an answer, okay? No problem. Thank thank uh -huh. you very much. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. Thank you. As a board, what you need to understand too, if this would happen to be a go, there is a set of rules and guidelines that we will have to make because this is brand new. Mm -hmm. um, currently, the facility is not used, um, and in the in the business that we're in for funerals, okay, visitation or anything like that, you can go if you want, but we're okay. Yeah, yep. um, I still want to maintain that, and the, and the reason is is because we get out of town people that want to come and do funeral services and all the different stuff there. And we don't allow a casket open in there. there there's just a lot of really? guidelines. Huh? Yeah, no, there's no casket allowed open in the, in the chapel or out at the grounds, unless it's an emergency that they forgot something. Then that'll be, that, is <laughs> done, that is done by the funeral director and myself. That has to do that. And a family member, if they so desire, if they miss a lapel pin to take on or off or something like that. But this is a pretty strict rules, because we don't want that in there. When there's there's funeral homes, there's churches, there's stuff to do that. Um, this is kind of a unique situation, and, and I don't mind. I just we got to make sure we set the <coughs> guidelines when we do this. Okay. Absolutely. Just to put that in your head. So be thinking. Okay. If this is, I will talk to the mayor and, and see his wishes. If he's okay with it, then we'll continue. Um, with that, I want to go back to number five, which is Nancy Williams. Bumgarner, you have a layout. She wants to do a, an ash mausoleum on her property. I think it's in the back. You have a layout. The rest of us have, yeah, that last one right here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, the board have voted to go ahead with this. Um, what this does does not meet the rules of the cemetery. Um, this is a like a crib. It's an ash crib. Um, that's okay. Um, she wants it done in fieldstone. Um, inside will be granite. A part will be granite. Uh, and you can put more than five on a lot. And we are okay with the five on a lot and the stone as long as there's some criteria met. Um, this was kind of the criteria we talked about. Um, I just put it on paper because I don't need to bother the attorney with some of it. Um, I want you to look it over real quick if you would, or not real quick, but look it over. Um, or I'm going to discuss it a little bit and then we'll go on if you need a couple minutes to look at that. Or I can talk as we're doing it's five it. feet high. Is it five feet four inches high? Yes. Okay. Um, and there's multiple ashes in here. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get updated so you can see get the full scale of this. Um, I went out to the the lot, <coughs> and where that 
shovel is yeah. is where it would be. Okay. This is a family lot, this okay. whole thing, so yeah. it's on their family lot. It totally fits in the dimensions yeah. of where it needs to be. I'm not worried about blockage. I'm not worried about anything right. except it goes against some of the rules we have. Okay. And they've okayed that as long as there's some guidelines, and these are the guidelines they came up with, as you currently see here. Um, I want you to read over, make sure, I believe, I guess we can go down through it. Um, I will, and just stop me or whatever and talk if you want. Like I say, the board, the rock, said the board approved the rock and mortar exterior, and and then five people on the lot proposed. Um, wait a minute, more than five people out right now. Currently, a full body of four ashes could be on a lot. This would be all ashes, um, and the design shows nine names on it. So I'm not too sure how many they can put in. So we've okayed that. Um, the rock exterior, um, you guys have okayed. Um, I put in there that the cemetery will not be responsible for any damage or wear of the exterior materials unless caused by the cemetery. So basically, if we bump or knock something, then it's our responsibility to fix it. If Mother Nature does it, no. Okay. Um, the interior. There's vandalism would yeah. That would be up to the family, like okay. it is now. Um, the stone is these stones out there. Theirs, not ours. Okay. If it does, they can file whatever they want to that. That's not part of ours. Um, sure. The interior be all granite. If you look at your uh, thing there, it is not currently. Um, I think we need to request it all to be granite. If they're going to do inside granite shelves, they can do the granite housing for it, I believe. Um, I've asked for two sets of keys. or, or it, She put in their tool for opening the niches. It's usually a key entry. There's going to be two doors on it. Um, we're complying with the $75 fee, just like we do in an internment, OK? Uh, and she put in the amount could change. Of course, the prices go up. The lot owners and the heirs will pay for the masonry work and the labor, so all the concrete, everything done on that site will be done outside by somebody bonded and insured. Um, that's what the rule basically is for the two crib full body ones that we have or any mausoleum that goes up. Okay. Um, and we do just foundation, so we do not do the work. The last one is where I believe I need to put the uh, get the attorney involved. Um, we talked about them putting a sum of money in perm. That so once the heirs are gone, there would be money in there to take care of that mausoleum, if you want to call it crypt, whatever you want to call it. Um, my question is, can we ask that question? Do we set them out or leave it up to the family to put in there? It would have to go into a perm account for state board accounts to be used. Currently, our perm account for sites is a two thousand dollar per lot, which that gets them flowers in the summer and in the winter. Um, the way the rule states, unless they change that, is I cannot touch the initial amount of money, only the interest. And as you all know, the interest rates aren't very high, so a lot of times we have to do be creative for the first several years until there's money in there. Um, you don't have to. In my 11 years, we've had, I believe, three that actually had a time limit on it where you could start using it. So I don't know which way we want to go there. Um, and if we just want to leave it up to the family as far as how much they put in. And I'm kind of leaning that way because I think it's theirs and, and let them decide. Uh, it would be hard for me to put a dollar amount on something like that. So that is kind of, in a nutshell, what we have talked about. If you're okay with that, I will proceed on. So this is the first of its kind in our cemetery? Is that what you're saying? Or? Of an ash crib, yes. <coughs> yes okay. Mm -hmm. Except for our columbariums that we have, that right. personally that we have that we sell. So once we do this, then that means there's other people that can do this, which there's nothing wrong with that. Sure. Any, any crib, I call crib or mausoleum, and, and it states right in the rules, uh, there's no set rule. They have to bring it in front of the board. Okay. Every, every Anybody. Yeah, okay. yeah. There's just stipulations and rules, and mm -hmm. I haven't called out for the attorney on this to make sure which ones we're going against here. Uh, because we don't want somebody to come out and say, well, that's Fieldstone, so... This is a one time they would have to submit, then you would have to write to refuel. I'm not big on field snow, just because of the climate we're in. Water gets into the moisture, gets into the crack of the stones, it freezes, it swells, it busts. And then they think it's our fault that needs to be done. Um, as long as, and this lady understands that, she really likes the field stone. She actually lives in warm climate, doesn't understand a lot of it, but I think she gets what can happen. 
um, and that's okay. Um, as long as we tell her like it is, um, I don't think it's an issue. I, um, I do have several field stone in there. I did have a monument field stone that was rectangular, if you want to call it, um, falling apart, and actually a family member came in and asked me if they could repair it, and they did. Oh, wow. Yeah, which was very nice because it's, you had a remortar relay. So uh, I'm with them. I don't have any problem. I'm just trying to bring you up to speed. Yeah, I appreciate that. Is, is what we're doing. So if you're okay with those rules, if you think something needs to be added, I'd like to know tonight so I can further on with that. If you're good with this, I'm good with this. <clears throat> yeah, I just want, uh, uh, that's what I love about attorneys. They know the right wording and stuff to put right. on this. So I don't. I mean, I got an idea what I want, but I think. It'd be wise. Plus, I need to meet the new attorney. I haven't met him yet, personally. So, <laughs> I will go and see him on that. So, if you're all good, we already voted to do this. This is pretty yeah. much your words. I don't really need it voted again, Mr. Sure. President, because this is sure. what you voted on last time. Sure. I just wanted to bring it up to make sure how we put it down was okay. And as long as everybody looks like they're okay with this, okay, <laughs> we will move on. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, new business is real easy and real quick, um, and I, I rely on you like I do my other ones. Improvements in the cemetery for 2020. Um, I will tell you what I have going on besides this wall now that we're doing, we're going to look at is probably more than likely a new cremation, definitely a new road. Uh, we'll have to start cutting in a new road for some new grave spaces out in the cemetery. It won't be as long as the other one because the Seaman building is sitting there and I can't go back behind it. But um, we're going to have to get another road cut in. It's getting that point where so we're that's okay. on the east side. Is that more to the east? Yes. The, yes. Yeah, okay. Yep. yep. We have. So you understand? We still have. I believe it's two more roads east. I believe. I don't think I can squeeze three. We have the Parson Farm we can develop, and then we have we own the 14 acres behind and. I haven't got the exact number, but I'm going to say there's probably nine acres usable right. in there that can be more into cemetery down the road. Yeah. Um, I would hint to do the Parson Farm first and then go that way when we're doing it. But um, I drew it a long time ago to lots because we were doing cost analysis on it, um, which we, I'll get to you sometime and we'll probably change it if you want or whatever. I just drew it up the way I thought it would be. It doesn't mean I'm right. But we'll work. Um, far as um, we were concerned if we were going to make our money back, and we will, even with the after asphalt stuff, in years. Sure. So, I guess new business is short, I'm just going to put that on, unless you know of something in 2020 you think we need to do. Are that, uh, there in that open land, again I'm just snooping here, in the open to the east there, it, are there like trees and stuff ever planted in that, or is that just a no-no, you wouldn't do that, probably? Trees planted where? Um, in the that whole area there that I'm getting ready to develop or yeah. the ones that was are there for aesthetics is, or is that just something you wouldn't do because of the roots and all that kind of stuff no no I plant I spend anywhere from two to four thousand dollars a year in trees okay the last two sections I have put in and planted trees in each one okay okay mm -hmm. we, just did. Um, we plant a lot of Clevelands and a lot of crabs is what we did we tried some uh, dogwoods I think out of all the dogwoods, one has survived so far. Oh, okay. Not really taken off for a while. Um, we fertilize, we try to do everything to keep them. Um, the crabs, you can, the root system goes as big as a canopy. So mm -hmm. you can control them and trim them if you so desire to put them. So we're just, and then we have some dye and we replant. Um, in fact, there's 20 plus sitting there and we're nurturing the plant next year because we ran out of time. We went and planted 30 some at the police department for them. Got those okay. in all but five, which will finish. And I so appreciate you're that. Welcome. <laughs> so we got to fertilize those and whatnot. But uh, Scott came to me for help <coughs> about trees. And uh, Jurgen Boss was gracious enough to meet us out there and give us a very good deal on both of ours. Right. And I ran out of time on ours, but that's okay. We got his in. Um, we planted two, and that was shoemaker lot we had taken two out of the family requested two new ones and um, I let them pick and we did get those two in growth but that's it so yeah to your answer question we put them in once we get the road in in the center aisle and, right. and, and do that and, and grow so they're usually 20 to 30 gallon is what I bring in I'm not the huge ones but right, right. so I'm yes we developed and I did put some already out in the Parson farm along the fence row to get those started um, I got a deal on some decent ones, so we put those out there 
just to start getting some shade along the border. Mm -hmm. But well, it always looks so nice. Yeah. And you always do such a nice job on it. So this year, which I talked about, is um, the wall we put in um, in section um, 59, 57, excuse me, 57, where that hill is like a triangle hill by the heart. Mm -hmm. That'll be done in a two tier this year of the same stone. And then it'll be in there, we'll plant some bushes or something to accent to set off the other wall. Um, one, it's not as bad as erosion as the other one, but it accents that one and it's, mm -hmm. it's gonna happen. So I was able to do that in, the, in this year. So, and that's the only one I'm putting up. Do I want to put up more max yet? So if you like my <laughs> The guys like it too, because they don't have to weed whack it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> right. um, other than that, I'm sorry, but I think I'm done, unless you have something. No? Anybody else? Got anything for me? Um, totals, um, Max found the correction, right Max, was it last page? Last page. Last page for right, perpetual care, it said a total for month is the total for the year. That's of course incorrect. Um, if you did uh, happen to look at your totals, I'm sorry to keep talking, um, we, I thought we were going to beat uh, the most I've ever done since I've been there, but we were a few mm -hmm. short. We went to 251. Yeah, really, um, no good. We only had eight in December, which was very nice. If you look at the uh, October, that was almost all done in three weeks. Um, we did 11 one week, 13 another, if that gives you any idea how busy the guys were. And last, I guess as my board, I'm sorry I didn't write this down, you need to know, I am one employee down. Um, we currently have it posted and looking for a new employee. Um, sad thing is, it was my mechanic. Um, uh, groundskeeper, which is really kind of hard for me to get because of the wage that I can offer. Um, but currently right now, Damien at the street department with Jeff's blessing has been helping us out and getting our machines all up to date. And so they're helping me out a bunch right now. Currently. So they're doing a fix for me and service and, and whatnot. And so they're happy to do it. So I just want to let you know that's out there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get a mechanic as groundskeeper. It may be a groundskeeper and I have to talk to Jeff and Damien and see they're willing to help me but and do stuff, so I don't know. So let's we'll see. It, it, like I say, that, that's kind of a specialty and I can't pay the money that they sure. have to do that. I just can't yeah. uh, do some of them. But we'll see. We'll make it. But the big thing is to get another employee. Um, also, I don't know if you're aware, Stu Watkins has been helping me out part-time. Um, he comes up here and does some maintenance work. Um, was working for low, uh, Nick for a little while doing some mowing, um, and Nick was done with him about the time I snapped my Achilles, and he's been a blessing to us, been mowing and helping out, helping me with the office and doing some stuff, and so he's currently kind of my part-time employee, um, but still does some stuff up here. Okay, so just so you know, so that's kind of where we're going. Okay, I'm sorry, to be quiet now, Mr. President. Do you want to end it? And uh, unless you have anything else. I move we adjourn. Second. I, 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 I. Uh, next meeting, February the 7th. That's crazy, isn't it? That's how you did it. Well, I went in for a ball batter thing that's supposed to last for a day. It lasted for six days.